You know, when you talk about attack surface awareness in this day and age, it's not just about what you have out on the internet that's publicly exposed, but it's also about what your customers, your partners, and your vendors have out on the internet that could be connected back to you with those vulnerabilities that are exposed. Risk IQ is in a very unique position because we ingest the internet at scale on a daily basis. So what we've seen a lot of companies do here in the last few days in response is start to turn the lens outward and look at those companies that are connected back to them. Here at Risk IQ, we've put together a number of different tools and mechanisms through which you can derive that understanding. The understanding needs to come across a couple of different avenues. First, you need to understand whether your SolarWinds Orion instance was misconfigured and exposed to the internet. We've published a Postman library where you can query against digital footprint and understand that exposure in your attack surface. Second, you need to take your internal host names and run them against a tool that we've assembled to understand whether your host names appear in any certificates. If you have any matches, it indicates your organization has been compromised. Third, you need to provide an ongoing compliance to ensure that any other subsequent backdoors are not being leveraged and won't come to affect you down the road. This can be done with examination of changes to your attack surface and by examining things like changes to your certificates, changes to your open ports, and changes to any new certificates that appear on the internet. Through the public Published Postman library, you can query that data and quickly pull down that list as your attack surface evolves over time. Finally, all the things that I just spoke to need to be looked at and examined with any critical business partner, any critical support in your organization's supply chain, or any other relationship that shares IT processes, services, or people. If your organization wants to get started with the implications of the solar wind exposure, you have a couple of different resources available to you. First, you can go to riskiq.com forward slash solar winds dash hack dash response. You can take a look at our sunburst hunter tool found on GitHub published by Corey Kennedy. And finally, to leverage the API queries that will get you the data that you need, you can check out postman.riskiq.com. At RiskIQ, we're here to help and share best practices with our customers, community members, and partners. Please reach out to us at success at riskiq.net for any questions or assistance you need.